getting the sack has to be one of the best feelings in the world. You get tingles in the back of your head once you get it. It's just a great feeling, just getting chills thinking about it. But the crowd erupts when you make a sack, and you just got to love the, you know, the intensity, and everybody's just happy that you made the sack, and it's a great play, and it's a good moment. It all starts up front. If we can get the pressure up front and we can get coverage sacks, and it makes everybody's job easier. It's working all as one unit. My favorite play for a defense alignment would be an effort play, you know, just a, a high motor play where you have to defeat a block and then, and then run a pretty good length, you know, with arm violence and at top speed. As a defensive player, you always got to attack. You can never be soft out there. If you're playing soft, you're going to get exposed, and, you know, you don't want that. My goal is to not get hit by them. I'd rather get hit by a linebacker or a safety. So the line blocks them, and I read off the line, try to avoid the big guys. The experience of playing on the D-line, it's not for the fate of heart. Every day you have to go hard, bring your best. That one day you don't go hard, it be an unforgiving sport. So you don't want to give up nothing, really. You don't want to give up no yards. You just got to enjoy the battle. Stay focused and just have fun out there. Know that things are going to go well for you. Some of the plays that they made the other night in the game are inspiring. They're inspiring to, to the coaching staff, and they're also inspiring to the sideline. You can see our, our, our fans. You can see our sideline the other day to respond to some of the plays that those guys made. Guys that are unselfish and guys that understand uh, the value of the football in this sport and understand what, you know, how important it is to team success to get the ball back, I think those are the guys that I admire the most, the guys that at the last second decide that the ball is far more important than your ego. For us, it comes back to Eli. It comes back to Muhammad. Those guys are tremendous. They, they understand it. They work at the game. They're locked in. They know how important it is to, to get every call, and they help communicate everything around the front so certainly teamwork is, is paramount there and those guys do a great job there. Muhammad and Eli are both starters on our defense so you know obviously they, 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 they work closely together because you know they're on the field together at the same time so they get a feel for one another they get a feel for what one is doing what the other one's doing. They're not necessarily loud guys, but they are leaders. You know, they're not the type of guys that are that are rah rah guys, or they say a lot of stuff that that really uh, doesn't matter. You know, when they do speak, the guys listen because what, what they're saying, they, they know is going to help them. Muhammad taught me a lot, technique wise. You know, as a freshman coming in, I struggled with uh, technique, with my pass rush, and as the years went on, and Muhammad came to Temple. I sort of looked up to him to help me with my flaws. He does a nice job of uh, providing leadership uh, for the t entire team, especially for the defensive line. Uh, you know, very serious, intense person, but also, you know, has a nice uh, personality, nice sense of humor, understands, you know, when to and when not to. That's what I love about him. He has tremendous IQ on the football field when it comes to uh, the position and uh, knowledge around him. He is a student of the game. And I think he's a guy who started to really mature and was able to have another opportunity uh, to go to college. He's a guy who really, I think, is grateful. Temple, you know, they stayed loyal. They, they, just, they, had, they knew that I had something and it just stuck with me. Now I see Muhammad being a mentor, being a leader. I see Muhammad perpetuating a culture that we want to have here and, and taking a lot of pride in that. Eli, as you know, he's the strongest person on the team, and he just brings a whole lot of juice to us, and he just try to get us fired up. He is a leader in the classroom. He's a leader on the campus, and uh, he's certainly one of the leaders for us in the locker room and on the field. Eli has impacted people at his position. He's impacted people on the defense, and he's one of the rare people in sport that, that can impact uh, his teammates on the other side of the ball, and he can impact the whole community here. He's just always doing the right thing. Just a great person to be around, and when it's time to go, he's the one saying, let's go, yo. Yeah. Eli is uh, one of the leaders of this team, probably one of the most dedicated members of this team that, that I've known since freshman year. 
because it's his team as a senior. You know, he, he, he's going out uh, knowing that this is the last year that he's going to play college football. So he wants to make sure he goes out a winner. They're like a coach on the field, making sure that guys carry out their responsibilities, guys are accountable, and make the whole other guys accountable uh, to make sure they know their plays, they know their stuff. Those are the guys you want teaching the, the next group. You know, all, all these young freshmen that we have right now, we have a bunch of them. Those are the guys you, you want to mentor those guys.